my YouTube channel. This is Teacher V, and if this is your first time visiting, please do not forget to click the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you will be notified once a new video becomes available. Are you tired of making boring PowerPoint presentations? Well, today we are going to make your slide presentation more interesting. So this is the example that we are going to come up with. I am going to play this, and that is the main page. And as I go to the different slide, you notice that the page slides over. And then I go to the next slide, and the next. So let's get started. But before we begin, I would like to choose a color palette that I'm going to use for this presentation. I am going to go to coolers.co, and this website provides color schemes that you can use. So you can either click the Start the Generator or Explore Trending Palettes. I usually go to explore trending palettes because it provides several options that I can choose from. My personal preference is this color scheme, so I'm going to take a screenshot of this and then I'm going to put it below the slide for my color reference. So I already went ahead and put my color scheme here, just below the slide, and then I am going to make sure that the layout is blank. I am going to click design and then I'm going to select format background. I'm going to choose the color gray for my background. I am going to insert a rectangle shape. I am going to remove the outline. I'm going to click the shape fill and I'm going to make sure that the fill color is the same as the background. I am going to click effects in format shape panel. And then in the transparency, I am going to type 65. And then for the size, I am going to make it 101%. For the blur, I am going to make it 17 point. For the angle, I am going to make it zero. And for the distance, I am going to make it three point. So now that we have already set up our rectangle shape, we are going to create our tab. So how are we going to do that? We are going to click insert and then click shapes and then put a circle here. In order for you to create a perfect circle, you need to hold the shift key while dragging the circle. And then we are going to insert another shape again. This time it's a rectangle. I am going to drag it in the middle of the circle. Now I am going to click the circle first and then I am going to hold the shift key and then select the rectangle shape. Now these two objects are now selected and then here in the merge shapes, I would like you to click subtract. And now you will notice that the other half of the circle has been removed. I would also like you to remove the outline, make sure that there is no outline. Now I am going to change the fill color of our tab. So I would like you to click shape format and then shape fill and then more fill colors. And then this eyedropper tool, I would like you to click this and then select one of the colors here. And then you will notice that it was changed to that color and then click OK. Now I would like you to insert a text box and then I would like you to make it introduction. And then I would like you to put it in the middle And then I would like you to make it color white. And you can use the rotation handle so that you can rotate it. And then put it inside the tab. And then you can make the tab a little bit smaller if you like, but I like this already, so this is fine with me. So I am going to make sure that I select this and then select the shape. And then I'm going to right click it and then select Guru. And then I am going to put it here. Now, I am going to select the group object and then the rectangle shape that we just created. And then I am going to move it a little bit here. And then I am going to deselect it. And then I'm going to select the rectangle shape tool and then I am going to extend it until here. Okay, so I'm going to select this group object and then I'm going to press the shift key and then click the rectangle that we just created and then right click and then select group and then select group. 
Now I would like you to click this slide and I would like you to press Command D. And I would like you to press Command D five times. We are going to create five different tabs. So we are going to duplicate it five times. So one, two, three, four, five. And I would like you to select this tab for our second slide. And then I would like you to click Shape Format and then the Shape Fill and then more fill colors and then use the eyedropper tool and then we can choose this color and then click OK. You can also click this to change the fill color. So there is an excess line, we can just delete that, okay? So now that we have already set up our tabs, let's change the text. We are going to make it, we are going to make it geography. This one is language. This one is culture. And this one is landmarks okay so now that we have already set up our slides we can just go to this slide right click and then cut and then paste it here go to the next slide and then cut it and then paste it here And then go to the next slide and cut the objects. And then paste it here. And then go to the next slide and then cut it. And then paste it here. I do not know guys if you noticed, know but I did. Uh, so there are two small triangles on the sides of our tab. And it's a little bit annoying because we really don't like this. Uh, it looks like a helmet of uh, an alien. But anyways, and the, the reason why it happened is because the fill color was applied also on the text box. And so, and you notice that the text box exceeds the border of the, of the tab. And then the remedy for that is make sure that the text box does not go beyond the border of the tab. So that's how what we are going to do. So now that it was already set up, we can just like delete the slides that are empty. So the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to select all the objects. I am going to press Command A. Just be aware that the color scheme that we placed here will be selected as well. So you might want to press the Shift key and then click that object and it will be deselected. So I am going to drag it all the way here. Uh, make sure that you don't exceed on the border of your slide presentation and you can just like check if it's still there okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to press command D to duplicate and then I am going to press and then I am going to click the first slide and then I'm going to press the shift key and then drag it there and then I'm going to press command D to duplicate and then I am going to move the next slide here I'm going to press command D make sure that the slide is selected so I'm going to click here and then press command D and then I'm going to click here and then drag it there I'm going to press command D again I'm going to click here and then press the shift key and drag it there and then click here. Don't forget to click this slide because it will not be duplicated. It's the object that will be duplicated. And then I'm going to press command D and then I am going to drag it there. So now we have already set up our slides and then we can just like select all our slides here on this panel by pressing command A. 
So make sure that you select this, the first slide here and then press Command A and all of the slides here will be selected. I'm going to click Transitions and then I'm going to select More. And let's take a look at it. Let's play. There it is. Our fancy slide presentation. And then, if you would like to put your text here, so for example, I am going to put some titles. So here's the sample presentation that you can use for this. Now, if you would like to use this template for future use or for later use, I'm going to click the color scheme here. I am going to click File and then save it as template. And then I am going to make it slide more. And then I'm going to save it on my desktop and then I'm going to click save. And then every time I create a PowerPoint presentation, all I need to do is just open that template that I just saved. And I don't need to recreate it anymore. It's there already. All I need to do is just change the text here. Okay? So basically that's it. And I hope you learned something today. Take care everybody.